Hi, this is Rain from My Service Depot. In this video, we'll be going over the basic daily job process using your iFleet application. From the main job screen, select your current job. By clicking on Current Status, you can select Start Traveling to Job to begin recording your travel time. Touching the arrow icon located by the service address will cause your device's mapping application to open, directing you from your current location to the service address of your selected job. If a data connection is available, turn-by-turn -turn directions will guide you each step of the way. Once you have arrived at your destination, touch the current status bar again to mark the end of your travel time and begin recording your time at the job. On the left-hand side, you will see your customer's information. Under My Customer Fields, you can either view or update customer-level information such as gate code or contract information. We can also view previous work done by choosing to view history. This will provide up to the last 30 jobs performed, along with any notes and items that were recorded. Under the Equipment section, we can view and update what equipment the customer has. If you are servicing or installing a new piece of equipment, it can be added directly in the field simply by hitting the plus symbol and entering our information. You can also view any of your company's assets that are associated with this job. You can mark an asset as serviced by selecting the asset and clicking the Serviced checkbox at the bottom of the window. On the right hand side, we can view the notes for this job. By clicking on the pencil icon in the Job Notes section header, you can update these with your notes from the field. Using the timestamp will add the current date and time, along with the name associated with the device being used. Under Job Items, you can both update items already listed by clicking on them, or add new items by clicking on the plus symbol in the Job Items header. In each job item, you can update the quantity and rate as well as update your user-defined fields. Keep in mind that both job notes and items will be displayed on your work order if it's sent to the customer iFleet also gives you the ability to take pictures. These can be added before, during, or after the job is complete. You can name each picture or add a short description that will label them back in Smart Service for easy identification. Once you've completed your notes and entered any parts, material, or labor being invoiced, you can finalize the job. Finalization will take you through a series of screens allowing for the customer, if available, to view and agree to your terms and conditions, charges for the job, and to add their signature. During finalization, you can also select any pictures or forms you wish to include with your work order. To complete the finalization process, you can select to either print, email, or do nothing with the work orders. This will do a final sync for the job, sending information to Smart Service and updating what is seen in the office. Even if you select to do nothing, your information will still send back to Smart Service. Once finalized, the job will be marked as complete within iFleet, allowing you or your technician to view only active jobs in the Jobs to Do category. For more information, check out our wiki at smartservice.com wiki.